a lasting peace will involve two states for two peoples. The United States believes that negotiations should result in two states with permanent Palestinian borders with Israel, Jordan, and Egypt, and permanent Israeli borders with Palestine. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. The first is that while Israel is prepared to make generous compromises for peace, it cannot go back to the 1967 lines. Some settlements will end up beyond Israel's borders. Now the precise delineation of those borders must be negotiated. We'll be generous about the size of the future Palestinian state. But as President Obama said, the border will be different than the one that existed on June 4th, 1967. Israel will not return to the indefensible boundaries of 1967. We believe the borders of Israel and Palestine should be based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed swaps. I have to say that over the last two and a half years, I have watched with uh, the amusement. I've been puzzled at the degree to which this thing just kept on going. Now. Normally, uh, I would not comment on something like this. The, the dominant news story wasn't about these huge monumental choices that we're going to have to make as a nation. It was about my birth certificate. century, Americans and Europeans alike will be required to do more, not less. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way, the one way. That is why the greatest danger of all is to allow new walls to divide us from one another. The walls between old allies on either side of the Atlantic cannot stand. The walls between the countries with the most and those with the least cannot stand. The walls between races and tribes, natives and immigrants, Christians and Muslims and Jews cannot stand. These now are the walls we must tear down. The reception of him is so extraordinary around the world. I think his task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. A new world order can be created. A new world order can be created. I receive this honor with deep gratitude and great humility. It's an award that speaks to our highest aspirations. For all the cruelty and hardship of our world, we are not mere prisoners of fate. And yet I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the considerable controversy that your generous decision has generated. In part, this is because I am at the beginning and not the end of my labors on the world stage. In part, this is because I am at the beginning and not the end of my labors on the world stage.